how to add parallax scroll effect on wix studio hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial in today's video i'm going to show you how easy it is to add the parallax scrolling effect into the wix studio website that you have created so it is going to be here is something that is uh, will play on the aesthetic side of your website so it is not going to be a boring website or a usual website so you are going to make that unique effect to this specific website to make it stand out now all you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you are going to be good to go the first thing that you need to do is you head over wix.com sign in for an account and you're going to see the site dashboard once you're here you're going to select the website of ours that will have the label of built on wix studio so if it is going to be a, a here a acquired website or a created website already you're going to select it as you can see here we have two websites we have this and we have this one if you do not have that type of website that is built on with studio you are going to click on create a new site and you're going to click on try with or try with studio select a template or get it generated with ai and here we have it so we are going to select this website it will open up right there the dashboard of that specific website we're going to click on edit or design the site and it will either load up the content of the website now what are we going to do is to add a section right there or an empty section to make that specific effect so what are we going to do is to select here or click on any of the intersections between i mean between two sections and then what are we going to add here we are going to add uh, some elements so or you can add some sections so here i'm going to add an image or we're going to head over here or add a grid layout so right there i'm going to set up or i have here an idea so instead of adding here a grid or a section grid we're going to add some cells so we are going to add here a cell to the right for example or let's go ahead and add uh not this cell but i'm going to delete that so we are going to add a cell to the bottom and one to the top here we have two cells so i'm going to make this cell a little bit bigger something like that so also this one i'm going to make it a little bit better so and here we are going to add another cell so we are going to select the uh, section here we have i'm going to add the cell to the bottom and normally we are going to see it right there so we have added two cells at least so now each one of the cells are going to be individual so i'm going to add some media here or we can add some quick uh, right there images to this cell for example we are going to add this uh, image to that cell i'm going to fill that into we see here and here i'm going to add another image to this specific one make sure that you are going to put up here uh different as you can see cells also different images i'm going to change this image for example to something else maybe the uh, some media from wix i'm going to choose some media like this click on upload or and also here we're going to add another thing from here so we are going to add an image and something like that so i'm going to make sure that i'm going to put here some aesthetic to this one so as you can see here we have these so yeah i don't know but i don't i'm going to make this cell or there change the image i'm going to change the image so maybe you're going to add this or this instead now what are we going to do is to select the image from here we're going to open up the uh, inspector and from here we are going to click on animation we're going to select the scroll and we are going to click on add 
So here we're going to see the parallax effect. So we're going to put it on scroll. So here at the cell itself, you are going to put here the cell itself. So you can see, or you can use the image. For example, I'm going to put here the uh, image. I choose here the image. And now what I am going to do is to preview. So we're going to uh, see here the effect normally. So I don't know why the effect it uh, did not I'm going to see here if the effect is working. So we're going to head over here, the image, image inspector. The scroll is not set. So we're going to put here the parallax. Boom. We're going to see if we have, uh, it is still that we do not have the, uh, what there the cell. So let's try and put it here to the parallax. Click on publish and we're going to see if everything works well so i'm going to preview and see here the as you can see the cell is moving i'm going to click on edit now we're going to see the cell or the cell we're going to put it to the image like that click on publish we're going to see here the preview again Maybe here we are going to set up the image not to move, but to have the effect. So I hear we still have the image on effect. So I'm going to click on edit site. Now what I'm going to do is to click on the cell. And here we are going to click on design and scroll a little bit until we see the overflow content. We're going to click on hide. We're going to publish this effect and we are going to preview it. So this is going to be normally set. So we are going to see here that the parallax effect is going to be showing up. So I don't know if you have noticed, but these bricks or this gap and this gap are going to be moving. So like this. And where we go, what I'm going to do here is to change the image. So you are going to get here a better idea to something else like this. So here I have chosen this image, click on publish, and we're going to see the difference. Maybe the chocolate will, was not uh, here set up for this type of effects, but you're going to see that here. As you can see, we are going to get the parallax effect for this one. You can also put it for this one and that one. But the most important thing is to have the cell uh, high, hidden and also the effect or parallax effect on the image. So let's do that for all the images. So I'm going here to choose some images. I'm not going to add the media, but I'm going to change the image. So let's see here some other images that could be. Uh, maybe convincing so i'm going to add this image to that and also this one so i'm going to basically have here the same effect for these so i'm going to get this image and now we are going to apply the effects again so i'm going to click on the image click on the open inspector we're going to click on animation and effects select the scroll add with parallax click on the publish now we are going to head over the other step which is selecting the cell itself i'm doing the saving or the publishing here to make sure that everything is going to be saved so we are going to select here the cell itself we're going to click on the open inspector click on design and the overflow is going to be hide. So we are going to see here if that will work. For example, section, grid, not the section, but the cell. We're going to see the content overflow or the overflow content is going to be hide. So make sure that everything is set up to cell, not the section grid. Now, 
what we're going to do is to click on publish we are going to preview that here we have the second setup so basically you are going to get here as you can see the image moving so the head is going to be here the neck right there or right there here we have the total of the neck here we have the same effect for this one and we can do that for this one too so i'm going to repeat that for the third time select the image open the inspector animation and effects scroll add parallax boom click on publish now what are we going to do is to wait for the saving select the cell or the cell itself like that now we are going to make sure that we are going to select the cell now this section grid the cell now we are going to head over the design we are going to head over the overflow content click on hide we are going to publish now here we have it or I have applied the uh, parallax scroll effect to all of these. So we are going to see for this lady. I think that I haven't, yes, I haven't put or the preview. The lady, second lady on the museum, and this on the back. As you can see, it is going to be moving here, here and there. So that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you in the next one.